come in. Good morning, I'm Sally. Hello, pleased to meet you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Did you get your fine? Yes, I got your fine. There wasn't much traffic this morning. Okay, great. Now let's begin our interview. Oh, yes, of course. Can you tell me something about yourself? My name is Davin Chong. I am a fresh graduate from the American University of Phnom Penh, and I have a bachelor's degree in the science of business, and I am a responsible and dedicated person in my work. I see things through to the end, and I am very flexible in switching between working alone and working in teams. Great. Um, could you give me an example about your skill of quick learner, and also how you've been flexible with different working environments? Well, I consider myself to be a quick learner because as I started volunteering in my later years of high school, I found out that even though I did not know much going into the volunteering, I actually followed the instructions very well and I was quick to adapt to all the tasks that they gave us. And as for my flexibility in working for, um, I worked for, volunteered for, many charity events and uh, I found out that I was able to work well with people and I consider myself to be a team player. Other than that, there were days when all the volunteers couldn't meet when we had to organize this one fundraiser. But um, even though they weren't there, I was perfectly fine in managing the fundraiser on my own. That's why I consider myself flexible. Great, so you've been volunteer a lot. Yes. Now, could you tell me like how that experience would help you in working as an HR? Well, um, I've learned to understand people and to notice the specific types among people and how to deal with them. And those were the experience that I got from volunteering and I can apply it to age working in the HR field because HR deals with people on a regular basis and I know what types of people and how to deal with them. Could you go to more detail explaining some of your volunteer works for us? Well, I'll talk about two of them then. Uh, the first one is Talent for a Cause 6. It is a charity program organized by the Mainly Jaegwood Foundation. The aim of the program was to help rural schools in Gongchang. So um, the event can be divided into two parts. The first is the charity concert and the second is the distribution of donated goods and school supplies. Uh, for the charity concert, what we did before that was that we sold tickets, we promoted the event. I personally promoted the event through social media and I also promoted it through word of mouth and I also handed out flyers with the other volunteers at the park and on streets and so on. Other than that, uh, we also ran fundraisers to raise funds for the concert. And on the actual day of the concert, um, all the volunteers were divided into teams. I was divided into the float team where I had to partner with another volunteer. And what we did was that we had to manage a row of 20 people I mean 20 rows of people. Uh, what we did was our job was to guide people to their seats based on the tickets they have and the tickets range from bronze, silver to gold. And uh, other than that, our responsibilities also include looking for lost possessions and lost children as well as cleaning up the messes of the audience. And uh, as for distributing charity goods, we went to Gumpong Cham and other than before we distributed the goods, we uh, planted trees, we organized activities and games for the children, and then we handed out um, food as well as the donated goods and school supplies. And that's about it for the first for the first volunteering experience that I want to talk about. And the second one was for my school's prom. I was on the prom committee, and uh, which involved um, all of the mon class monitors from all of the campuses of the school. I was class monitor at the time, that's how I was able to enter the prom committee. And because I was active in the earlier stages, they decided to um, let me be the logistic assistant of the prom committee. And what I did was I mostly managed the stock and other than that I also did I also went to pick up inventory and I also had to work with all of the other teams to make sure that the events ran smoothly. And on the day of the prom, 
the HOC and the OC, they had an emergency to get to with the school principal. And so I was tasked with um, temporarily overseeing the decoration process of Naga Hall, which was where we held the prom at. And uh, that's about it for my volunteering experiences. Great, so um, you can speak four languages, right? Yes, I can. So how your ability to speak different languages would put up to work in our company? Well, I can use it in three ways. Um, the first one is that I can use it to communicate with international colleagues because um, two of the four languages that I speak, English and Mandarin, those are considered international languages now and a lot of people speak them as their second languages. So I can use those two languages to communicate with my coworkers to make sure that the workflow is smooth because there is no longer any language barrier. And uh, the second way I can use it is that I can use to negotiate and persuade potential clients to see the benefit of investing for your organization. And the third way I can put those languages to use is that whenever the need were to arise for your organizations, I can always substitute as a translator. Great. Okay, so what would you consider to be your weakness? Well, I would consider my lack of experience, work experience, to be my weakness for now because um, I spent most of my later years studying and I did not have, and I did not have that much time to do part-time jobs. But I did, however, started volunteering from my junior year of high school all the way until my uh, freshman year. And other than that, in my junior year, I also did an internship for World Vision as a part of their social media team. And I considered um, the lack, and I considered my experience working and volunteering can be used to make up for a portion of the experience I lack in work. Great. So you do an internship. Yes. Could you tell me what did you do in the as an intern for that company? Well, I was part of their social media team, and uh, my work mostly involved crafting a social media posts on multiple platforms to get the views of World Vision across, which was to help better the lives of children because we were a humanitarian organization. And um, other than that, I also had to deal with a lot of people through online means, and I was successful in negotiating with them and communicating, them, uh, communicating to them about the views of World Vision, our goals and our plans and future projects and so on. And how working as a social media intern would help you as an HR position? Well, I think that I think that I can work in the HR position with my social media experience because as I have said earlier, working in social media, I had to deal with people on a regular basis but through online means which puts me at a disadvantage because I could not see their facial expressions. And however, I was successful in uh, negotiating with them and enlightening them and I even succeeded in persuading potential investors a few times. So um, I think that those skills are very valuable and I can apply them in uh, the HR field because HR also deals with people on a regular basis. And I have said before that I know the types of people and how to respond and how to deal with them from my volunteering experiences and that's why I think I'm suited for this position. So why are you choosing our company? Well I chose our company because uh, you are an organization that helps children receive better education and as someone who went to university and as someone who has volunteered to help children before I know how important it is to receive a good education and how a good education can impact the future of people. And I also know how, personally, I also know how happy children were when they received the school supplies because they were given a chance that they lacked before in receiving a better education. And I think that it's very important to um, invest time and effort into helping children receive better education because they are the future of this nation and a lot of their potential are going to waste by not having the proper access to it. So that's why I want to work for your 
organization, I want to help those children because uh, personally, I feel very happy when I help children, so that's why. Okay, great. That's it for the interview. Now, do you have any questions for us? Yes, I do actually. Um, I have one question. It's about uh, the HR manager. In your job requirement, you mentioned that I will be working directly under him. So, I wanted to know what kind of person is he like? Um, is there, is he very strict or is he open-minded so that I can be better prepared when I go and meet him and not make a bad first impression? Well, if she does this job, you're actually going to work under Mr. Hong. And by my experience working with him, he's an open-minded person and taking his work seriously. And he's worked hard and also take care of another employee. So if you're working your best, it will be fine. I see. That's very reassuring. Anything else? No, that's about the one question I have. Okay. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, we'll, we'll hope to contact you soon. Thank you. I look forward to it.